Look, it seems to me that um, if more emerging filmmakers like uh, the one that we're uh, highlighting tonight uh, were given uh, the funding to tell stories, I have no doubt that there are incredible stories to tell about Russian culture, about events that have happened in this country even in the last 25 years. So I encourage uh, more sponsorship, I encourage more people in uh, positions of wealth uh, do something with that money. There is no doubt that you can go back uh, through history and see that there have been extraordinary Russian films. That this, uh, this medium has been a great medium uh, for this country. Um, and, and right now there's not as much uh, support as I think there should be. So maybe by coming here to Russia, by giving uh, this opportunity to uh, an emerging filmmaker, maybe we'll uh, nudge uh, some people in that direction. It should be good. But I, I'm trying to encourage uh, an embracement uh, and, and the kind of support that, that all emerging artists need. You know, you can go back through history and see that uh, the great opera houses, the great paintings, the great uh, cathedrals that uh, Michelangelo, uh, czars and princes have always supported the arts. So the notion that arts and commerce don't meet is false. They do meet. They must meet in order for uh, artists to be able to, to have a chance to do their work. Простая идея о том, что лицо произвольно, на самом деле, сравнительно реальный факт. У известного режиссера Такеши Китана половина лица парализована. И я узнал об этом и использовал это в качестве э, основы для сценария. Как-то так. Ну, а дальше уже просто была задача делать интересно историю про человека, у которого парализовано лицо на 7 минут. Это не так уж и много, поэтому это не так, не так сложно было.